MySQL is the most popular and leading relational database system. It's easy to use, full of most database features, and also runs on all major operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. MySQL version 8.0 is available in two editions, and that's the current version, 8.0, as we're making this video. And the two editions are the MySQL Community, which is also called MySQL Server, which is free and it includes a complete set of database services and tools, and it's suitable for most non-commercial applications, such as education. And then there's MySQL Enterprise, which is a paid version, and it's used typically for commercial databases and includes additional administrative applications that are not included in MySQL Community. So if you're starting off with databases, I recommend definitely using the free MySQL Community version or MySQL Server. There's also a MySQL command line client, which is a command line based interface included in MySQL server download. And on the command line, you can connect to the database server, perform administrative functions, and execute SQL statements. So if you have the command line client and you want to use it, first thing you should do is open the terminal application in Mac or open the command prompt application on Windows. To open the terminal application in Mac, you can just typically find that in the applications folder and go maybe look inside utilities, it might be there. And on Windows, you can click on the start button in the taskbar, then type CMD for command, and then click on the command prompt. Let's download and install MySQL Server, which is the free community edition, and just check it out and see what it looks like. So in Google, I'm gonna look for MySQL Server. And it'll take you to the MySQL Community Server website. And the current version is, as we're making this video, is 8.0.26. So it'll automatically select your operating system. So let's just download the latest one of these. Let's click here. And you could bypass the login or creating a new account by just clicking no thanks, just start my download and it's downloading so in a few seconds we will run the installer and install the mysql community okay finish downloading let's open it up and start the installer all right so continue on the introduction i'm going to just do the basic installation type it looks like it takes somewhere around 763 meg megabytes of space on my computer that's fine install Type my password, if it, if it prompts you for a password, enter one there. So now it's installing, and that, that was actually really quick. So let's click close. Move that installer file to the trash. Sounds good to me. So it, it's now installed, and in order for us to interact with MySQL server, let's get the MySQL workbench. So let's just type in Google MySQL workbench and see where that takes us. Here we go, here's a download MySQL Workbench link. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna download that. And then again, click no thanks, just start my download. All right, so this looks like a pretty quick download. It's opening up. Verifying in any second now. There it is. All right, so it says to copy that to your applications. You only need to do this on a MacBook. All right, so it should be there. So if I go to my applications, I should see MySQL Workbench, and I should be able to interact with my MySQL server, and I should have now have the abilities to create databases and tables. Okay, so let's go to Applications. And there it is right there, MySQL Workbench. Let's launch it for the first time. So it looks like it's ready. It's installed. So we should have MySQL community installed um, from the step we did earlier. And we're ready to go. And once you have it installed, you're welcome to browse the documentation, read the blogs. And there's even a forums for you to discuss and ask questions. And before we go, make sure that you start your SQL Server. And you can do that in Mac by clicking the Apple icon, selecting System Preferences from the menu. Click on MySQL on the bottom of the screen. 
and this shows me that my server is running. You can stop the server by typing, you know, it might ask you for a password. And start the server by typing in your password again if it prompts you for it. And you can also initialize your database or uninstall MySQL server from the same window. And you're ready to roll after that. So in future videos, we'll create some tables, do some inserts, updates, and deletes, and learn a lot of SQL statements. So thanks for watching.